province has previously uh, announced some investments when it comes to the Winnipeg Police Service and proceeds of crime. The total of the investments is $1 million or a little bit more than $1 million. Today we're highlighting two specific new investments. Uh, one is uh, more than a quarter of a million dollars, I think it's about $300,000 into technology to be able to analyze uh, evidence that is coming from video recordings. We all know that in the world that we live in, there are thousands of uh, cameras, some on private businesses, some that are publicly uh, maintained around uh, the province and of course across North America. And that can be very helpful when it comes to evidence collection and moving to uh, proceeding on a case but it's a tremendous amount of data and it's very, very time consuming for officers to have to go through all of that uh, data, all of that videotape evidence to try to find exactly what they're looking for because a lot of the cameras are recording hours and hours and hours of, uh, of things, but it's only a small segment of the time that officers might be looking for. So technology exists today, um, but it's not cheap. And that's why we're investing the $300,000 to be able to plug in different factors uh, if you're looking for specific things to try to uh, hone in on a particular crime and then provide our officers a quicker way to get to the salient part of the video that they're looking for and the evidence that they're looking for. So I'm very pleased that we're able to provide this funding for the Winnipeg Police Service to make it more effective and efficient in the work that they do uh, and also to get uh, hopefully better outcomes when it comes to video evidence for cases. The second investment that we want to highlight today is a little bit more than $75,000 for trauma-informed uh, training for Winnipeg Police Service officers. This is about both uh, giving them specific uh, understanding and knowledge uh, in terms of how to deal with those who are dealing with trauma, but just as importantly, equally as importantly, I want to stress this, to provide support to officers who are dealing with trauma and how they can deal with that. I know in talking to members of the administration of the Winnipeg Police Service, members of the Winnipeg Police Association, uh, that they have great concerns about the mental health of their officers. That would be true in the Winnipeg Police Service and is true in all law enforcement, I believe, across Canada. Um, we know that uh, what officers are dealing with and what they see almost on a daily basis uh, has an impact on them and has an impact on their families when they go home. Uh, and it's important that we invest in opportunities to help them in dealing with that trauma. They're helping us and we need to be able to help them. So these are two very important announcements. One uh, that helps them do their job better uh, to ensure we can analyze the uh, evidence that we're getting from videos around Manitoba when it comes to crimes. The other is to support officers who are dealing with a great deal of trauma.